All right, check out my screen here. This is insane. This is something I just saw and I had to make a video. It's May 2024 and I wasn't going to make a video today, but this is so substantial that I have to. And here's why. This is a Facebook page called Next Stock. It is a scam page. It has about 5,000 followers. You hit about page transparency, see all. I'll zoom in here for those of you looking on your phone. This page was created on December 25th, Christmas last year, 2023. And the page name was changed March 9 to Next Stock. So that's probably when they started doing the scamming, Next Stock, whatever. And you go down here, page managers are located in Bangladesh, Nepal, India, and Pakistan. And it says here at the very bottom of the page that this page is currently running ads. So I will go ahead and open that to see what the ads are. There are two iterations of ads running right now. And I'm gonna tell you the crazy shocking thing actually is shocking. That's not like clickbait in a video or whatever. You're going to be like, wow. So there are two videos here and there are eight ads. It says using this creative and text and these ads are being displayed on, if I could scroll up, uh, Instagram and Facebook right here. And then this one, Instagram and Facebook as well, but three ads. And so let me see here. What's this before I continue and tell you the crazy thing about this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, so these are some guys, their video, whoever these guys are, their video has been taken and is being used by scammers. Scammers are pretending to be these guys sitting on computers around a desk so that you might think these are the people that you might be talking to to earn money with crypto, investments, whatever. What's this video? I don't know what this is. The different video. And it's not the video I saw. I got this video, this apparently this ad in my own feed. And it says here, this ad started showing to people, started running on May 23rd, 2024. That is today. And here is the crazy thing. This is a screen recording I did when I saw the ad. Let me hit play here. Ali, how much did you make today? So it's the guys around the table talking about how much they supposedly are making with, I don't know, stocks or crypto or something in finance, right? And they're asking the guys how much they're making so far. I don't know what company they're with, but again, these guys in the video, their video is being misused by scammers. The scammers are pretending to be these guys, right? And then it's got this chart here, and you can tell that's been manipulated. Whatever's on the table here, it moves around jiggles because someone has superimposed, you can start with 1,000, it's like shaking. And so it mentioned something about Tesla stock here. And here's the crazy thing. I'm going to scroll down. I did scroll down rather on my screen recording. It goes to financex.world. It says Trustpilot five stars, which is not true. And so look at this. If this ad truly did start running today, like it says, and this is that same ad, if that, it has 3.7 million views. It has 17,000 likes. It has 1,700 comments. 832 shares. And let me say this as well. In the case of this ad is not the same ad that started running today. And it's one from weeks ago, whatever, then so be it. But it still has 3.7 million views. Meta has still been able to accept money from scammers to allow this scam to go out to so many people, millions and millions of people. And the reason why Meta, you might be asking, well, why does Meta, whenever they accept money, take money from, from people for paid advertising, why don't they check the ads before they go out? If they manually check the ads, then that might mean they might need to you know, deny a lot of different advertisers, especially for scams. And what would that mean? It would mean less money, less revenue, less profit, whatever you want to call it, for Meta. And then in their quarterly earnings report and their annual earnings report to investors, guess what? They would have to say, we made you know, not as much money as we thought we would because we implemented these new policies to manually check all ads before they started running to users. And that's why probably they don't do that, right? They, they allow ads with scams or whatever, despite what they might say. And then what they do is maybe they'll take the ads down later after they brought in some money from the scam ads. Maybe you as a user go in and you report the ad. You hit the three dots, you hit report ad, and maybe Meta takes it down days, weeks, months after the ad had already started running. But it's not your job to report ads as being scams. You are not on Meta's payroll. Why would they have you do that? Why is that your job? It's not. It should be their job. And the reason why they don't do it again, probably because they would make way less money based upon scam ads. That's what I'm saying on scam ads. I'm not saying that they make a whole lot of money from scam ads compared to other legitimate ads. I don't know because I don't have that information. But it is really insane that they allow thousands and thousands of different scam ads in their paid advertising. If it was just a normal organic post, like on your own Facebook page with no money behind it, it's not an ad, just a post. I would, you know, not be surprised that Meta didn't catch that because they can't catch all of those posts. That's a lot of stuff, right? But whenever they're accepting money for something, 
and it's scamming people. And Meta, after the scam, you know, ends, Meta gets to run away with a big bag of cash and no one does anything and they just make money based upon scammers being able to have their scams thrive on Facebook and Instagram like this. That is insane. It really is insane. And I clicked the financex.world link. Financex.world is a scam website. It says join the elite stock signal group. Earn 10,000 to 30,000 plus profit every day we guarantee. Join group. And guess where it's going to go? It goes to a WhatsApp group chat, which is always a sign with investments, crypto, stocks, whatever. That's really always going to be the sign of a scam, especially if it's appearing in a paid ad. If you end up going to a WhatsApp group chat and you find something legitimate, I just I don't believe you because this says Daniel Investment Group. This is not going to be a legitimate group where they're actually going to teach you how to make money, to invest money, to do something with crypto where you're actually going to earn money. What they're going to do in these kinds of groups is they're going to tell you, OK, hi, I'm the teacher. Here are some of the other students. We're waiting for the teacher to be able to tell us, you know, how much money to invest in what. So download this app here. It's not available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, but just download it from us and trust us. And then put your money from crypto or whatever into your coin, whatever, into this wallet. And we will take care of it and invest it. And of course, what is going on? They're not going to invest any of it. They're just going to keep trying to get you to give them money. And they're going to show you big numbers, making you think that your, your investments are actually happening. And what they're doing is they're just stealing from you. They're never going to give that money back. And you can't get the money back. You can't do anything to get it back. Short of you having some sort of magical mind powers, knowing where they are and connecting with authorities where they are to get your money back, you're never going to get the money back. And of course, you're not going to. So... That's what's going on with this. And I'll tell you this as well. You might be saying, well, this is crazy scam. They allow this crypto scam. There are probably today and this week or whatever, thousands of these crypto scams running on Meta in Facebook and Instagram ads on top of the ones running in organic posts, probably. And this is a drop in the bucket. This is nothing. This one scam I just showed you with 3.7 million views on the ads and all those comments and everything. This is nothing. This is this is one of thousands. And that shows you how huge of an issue this is. And this should really be a nightly story on the nightly news that, you know, isn't as big as like war or something, but it like lands in the middle of the newscast or the network newscast, NBC nightly news, ABC, you know, world news reporter or world news night nightly, whatever it's called, you, you know, and then the CBS evening news it should be on these newscasts every night that meta is is just allowing all these scams to go out to millions and millions of users every day or every week or whatever it is, whatever the numbers are. And it's not going to be in the news because it's something that is, it just doesn't really get the treatment that it deserves in the news. Instead, they report about all sorts of other stuff and what, whatever. So be vigilant out there. Don't fall for scams like these. FinanceX.world is just one of many scam websites trying to get you to believe there's a crypto thing and a WhatsApp group chat. And I saw other scams running on like finance A dot site, finance B dot site dot S I T E, finance C dot site, and so on through the whole alphabet running in Facebook and Instagram ads. Meta is getting away with robbery, like whatever you want to call it. They are making money on these scams, and it is really, really a shame. And if there's three, there are 3.7 million views on the ad I showed you. Think about how many millions and millions of views there are on all the other ads out there that aren't being served to me specifically right now. It's it's really, really something. So I hope this video has helped you. It went on a little bit longer than I thought, but you know, stay very be, very, be very safe out there. Don't believe in online ads that tell you that, that, you know, go with this weird crypto investment stock thing. We'll be able to help you. If it's a legitimate company, it goes to the legitimate company's website, a .com has to do with like normal finance, not crypto. Okay, that might be legitimate. You know, if it goes to like bankofamerica.com or fidelity.com or some, you know, chase.com, whatever, that's that's fine. But these weird websites and these weird medicinal products that say, we have the cure for this disease or we will help you with weight loss, get these gummies. If it's medicinal, talk to a doctor. Don't order weird stuff online and don't believe online offers that seem too good to be true because if they seem too good to be true, they probably are, right? Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And thank you for watching.